And my media director, I was talking to him before I came in the pulpit. He's searching now so we can drop a local television station here in St. Louis. I travel around the world and preach to thousands. And St. Louis is in the same condition that I see every other place is in. <laughs> Between the crime committed in the streets and the murder, bloodshed of black, white, brown, yellow, and red brothers and sisters, and the religious murder <laughs> that has taken place from Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, non-denominational, Mormon, Catholic, Pentecostal, Apostolic, and every other old rotten thing that came out of hell. My job is to call your attention to what the Word of God says. And when you stand for what the Bible says, you're going to have problems. I'm a believer of scripture, right. not tradition. I'm not interested in tradition. I have no confidence in tradition. <clears throat> and if we examine 99.9% .9 of what we've been taught, what we've been shouting to, what we've been singing to, it's tradition. Because most churches, the bishop ain't gonna let you ask no questions. Right. <clears throat> he'll let you give all the money you want. In fact, he'll take the money you don't want to give. But when it comes to asking questions, they tell you, well, <clears throat> go pray about that. Don't you worry about that. Or they will label you as the church troublemaker. And all you doing is innocently asking questions. I encourage people around the world, question the church you're in. Question the man that claim he's a man of God. See, is this teaching and this preaching and this hooping and this hollering and this pulpit break dancing. See, is it lined up with the Bible? And if it detour from that Bible, I don't care if the pastor is your husband, your father, your uncle, because family churches are nothing but criminal churches. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? If you look at family churches, when the father is the bishop and the wife is the treasurer and the son is the secretary, the money is in the family, stay in the family, and you don't know where it's going. From that money, the family get new cars, new houses, new clothing, new everything. And all you get is a new pocket full of lint. <laughs> the preachers don't like us, and I don't care if they don't. I go in anybody's town and burn it down with Bibles. And many say I'm mean. I'm not mean. God made me a preacher. I'm not getting paid to preach this. I'm a working man. So I'm not held hostage by dollars. I wasn't elected by the board of directors. So therefore, no men control what we preach. Our preaching is in keeping with scripture. If you don't believe scripture, stop wasting your time going to church. That's right. The purpose of church is to save your soul from hell. That's the old fashioned purpose of church. Right. Let me put it that way. The original purpose of church is to save you from hell. Not this modern trash <laughs> that you call church. The pulpit or the stage is full of nothing but praise dancers and men and women that think they're glad it's not in the pips or the four tops. 
And where somebody played an organ behind Reverend Hypocrite, and the preacher wife is the first lady and they're like the regular neighborhood prostitute. A bunch of homosexuals on the choir. Am I right, I say? Amen. This is why many find this offensive. Many men won't preach what we preach because they're afraid of being sued or being threatened. I've been sued, and I've been threatened. And those that sue me, I haven't given them a dime and don't plan on to. I ain't going to give you a dime for telling you the truth. I didn't write the Bible. Why get mad at the mailman when he bring you a bill for $1,000? Don't get mad at him. I'm your Bible mailman. My job is to bring you the letters of truth. It's either heaven or hell. It ain't no purgatory. You've been taught that lie, been tricked. It's heaven or hell. You're right or you're wrong. You're being taught the truth or you're being taught a lie. There is no middle. But religion that started by men had gave you a middle, had gave you another alternative. This is why you hear me telling people, search the Bible for your religion. Don't be loyal. Don't be committed. Don't be obligated to a religion that you never read in the Bible. Go back to the Bible. Don't be of a religious belief because your mom is of that religion or your father's of that religion or your grandfather's of that religion. No. Go to the scripture. And if that religion is not in the Bible, men start it. Just examine what you are. You say you're Baptist, go to the Bible. And find a Baptist church in that Bible. You're Methodist, go to the Bible. Show me where Jesus was a Methodist. You're not the nominational, which means you ain't nothing. Go to the Bible and see that Jesus tell you to be non-denominational. You five percenters, you're missing the other 95%. Go to the Bible. See that Jesus tell you to be five percenters. You're a Lutheran, go to your Bible. You're apostolic, go to your Bible. Your seven day Adventist, your Pentecostal, whatever you claim, Mormon, Muslim, Sunni, Shiite, or nation. Go to the Bible and see is God what you claim you are. Because you say God is your father. And if God is your father and we are his children, why are you something that your father is not? All right, listen. So this is what religion say. Well, there's a lot of religions, but we all one down inside. That's a lie out of hell. Follow me in your Bible. Give me 1 Corinthians. Mm -hmm. I want to take my time and soak you a little. Mm -hmm. Chapter 1. Chapter 1 and verse 10. I'm again at verse 10. I, that goes for you too, preacher. If you claim you are apostolic preacher today, Pentecostal preacher, Methodist preacher, Baptist reverend, junior bishop, half pint deacon, assistant pastor, whatever you claim to be, so-called woman preacher, woman evangelist, woman bishop, <laughs> whatever you claim you are, I'm going to strike this out with Bible. I don't blame the people for being misled. I blame the preachers for misleading you. Because there are a lot of things in the Bible many of these preachers know it's in there. But you know why they won't preach it? Because they can't make no money off of it. That's right. Let's get something clear. God Almighty ain't never had the scripture designed or designed church for men to get rich. Right. You want to get rich, go get a job and go to work. Amen. The apostles wasn't sent to get rich. The apostles were sent to tell you what's right. That's right. And this is where people have lost focus on the purpose of church. This garbage today that's called church is an embarrassment. Yeah. Anything go on. 
How do we get so delusional? How do we get so weak? How do we get so backward where trash is called clean? Yes. And if you evaluate, I have brought Bible to bishops and showed them what the Bible said. And you know what they tell me? I know the Bible's right, Pastor Jennings, but in my organization, we don't believe such and such a thing. This is where the problem is. Men got an organization, and then God have order. There's a difference. That's right. Men have organization. God has order. That's right. When God say for a thing to be done, it contradicts what men been teaching. And one thing about preachers, they don't want the congregation to know the Bible. Just like a policeman. A cop don't want you to know the law. <laughs> if you know the law, then the cop can't get away with doing certain things to you. That's right. Because you can throw the law back up in his face. Right. If you know the scriptures, the false prophets cannot con you, dupe you, mislead you, lie to you, because you can take the scriptures and throw it right back up in his face and ask him. But the Bible says such and such a thing. And I'm telling you, when you bring the Bible to these so-called preachers, don't be surprised if they cuss you out. Amen. I had a fella in Philadelphia last week. Hey, Mr. Israel. Come all the way from Michigan to waste my time. That's <laughs> right. I tell the men, if you're going to fight me with the Bible, use the Bible. That's right. Don't refer me to nothing else. I have no confidence in nothing else but what God said. That's it. Whatever you claim to be as religion, go to God's word. That's it. And God has to claim to be whatever you are. No, 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 don't go tell me what popular person is in your religion. I don't care. Ain't nobody more popular than God. <laughs> Nobody. 